From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. It's going to be a toasty day all day. Your weather forecast is coming up. I'm Lauren St. Germain and here are your ABC Action News headlines. Today, parents will ask Mayor Bob Buckhorn and city leaders to walk a stretch of Bay to Bay Boulevard to see how unsafe they say it is. The city decided not to add bike lanes on Bay to Bay because they would have had to reduce the number of traffic lanes from four to three. The mayor says it just wouldn't work in the area. Today, groups plan to walk more than a mile along the sidewalks. It also would have made it safer for people trying to walk along this road by putting some gap between them and the four lanes of traffic. The walk will start at 430 today at the Methodist Church on the corner of Dale Mabry and Bay to Bay. Also happening today, students of one Bay Area High School will come together to honor a fellow classmate who passed away last week. Lakewood High School senior Bryson Welton Williams died in a car crash after leaving school in St. Pete. His two passengers, also seniors, survived. Today's candlelit vigil starts at 730 at Lakewood High. The Polk County School District is now officially hiring for its new school safety guardian program. The school board voted unanimously to put trained armed employees in every school. The job description is posted on the district's website. It says guardians will use whatever force necessary to prevent an active shooter. The salary for this position starts at $30,000. FEMA is now giving Hillsborough County a million dollar grant to help cover Hurricane Irma related expenses. Specifically, the money is paying for the sheriff office costs. To date, FEMA designated more than $46 million to Florida under the Public Assistance Program. The Bolts may have lost their first game against the Boston Bruins, but hey, they can still come back in game two tomorrow. And if they can't rally against the Bruins for game two, it may be even harder for game three since they won't be on home ice. Despite their 6-2 loss yesterday, Lightning fans are still hopeful for a big win tomorrow. Many saying they're still confident the team can take home the Stanley Cup. Now here's Jason Adams with your forecast. And we are talking about warmer temperatures here on your Sunday. The sea breeze not active today. It's actually going to be kept at the coast or just offshore as our winds come offshore now. So that means warmer temperatures for our beaches. We're into the mid to upper 80s, not only inland, but also here on the coastline. And no risk for a sea breeze coming in to help cool you off today. So no heat relief. Temperatures between 85 and 88 for most of us. But there could be a few spots east of I-75 that approach the 90 degree mark. And after a couple of clouds earlier today, we're going to see mostly sunny skies for the remainder of the afternoon and clear skies heading into your Monday. You can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.